Agents are everywhere and they're becoming the key buzzword of 2025. From agents like Truth Terminal making millions to OpenAI's and Anthropic's agentic workflows dominating all tech circles. They are everywhere. So you just saw how the biggest companies in AI are not just building with agents, they're writing papers, launching products and going all in on them this year. But honestly, agents are still complex and building them isn't simple. Thankfully, you're watching Builder Central. And as with everything else in tech, we have a solution for this as well. Not just for people who can code, but for everyone, regardless of their familiarity with Python syntax. For agents, that solution is Langflow. And in this video, we'll explore what Langflow is and how it simplifies agent building, key concepts like workflows, RAG, and agents. And finally, we'll build a couple of basic agents together. Stick around because this one's going to take you into the future. So, what is Langflow? Langflow is a visual programming tool built for creating LLM-powered applications. It's like a playground for builders who want to experiment with agents but don't know how to write code. With Langflow, you can connect prompts, APIs, and retrieval systems to build everything from chatbots to automated workflows, all without writing a single line of code. So now that you know what Langflow is, let's quickly understand the difference between workflows and agents, as most people use them interchangeably, which is just wrong. Agents are dynamic. They make decisions and can respond to new inputs on the fly. For example, a trading agent. You fund it and ask it to make money in the market for you. It follows your rules, makes its own rules, applies trading strategies, and does everything a trader might do to maximize profits. Whether it succeeds or not depends, but at least it thrives. Workflows, on the other hand, are static. They follow a predefined path. You give them a task, and they execute it step by step without deviation. For example, a YouTube scriptwriter clone. It gets a topic, searches the web, writes a script based on your guidelines, uses external APIs like Eleven Labs for voiceovers, and it follows the same path every single time. Anthropic explains it the best. Workflows are predictable, and agents are flexible. Workflows follow instructions, and agents reason and adapt. We link their blog in the description below. So now that we know what an agent is and what a workflow is, let's not waste more time and directly open Langflow and build something simple. So first of all, you need to go to langflow.org and click on the Get Started for Free button. Then log in either with Google or GitHub. We're using Gmail to log in for now. And finally, click on the Build with Langflow if you're new. But for us, it's just creating a new flow. Here, you'll see three main options. Number one is basic prompting, which is just a straightforward prompt and getting a response for that. Number two is RAG, adding external knowledge as context. So simply put, RAG combines LLMs with a knowledge base. Instead of relying purely on AI's memory, RAG retrieves relevant information from external sources like databases or documents, and it uses it to answer questions. This ensures precise, up-to-date answers instead of hallucinations. It works perfectly when you need to clone a particular tone or style, especially in marketing assets. Now, number three is agents, complex decision-making systems. Today, we'll explore basic prompting and agents. We'll save RAG for another video since it's a pretty complex topic in itself. But if you want us to cover it, let us know in the comments. So, we'll click on basic prompting flow and start with a simple chatbot that summarizes any input text. You'll see a chat input, and this is where you need to put your text. Next is a prompt block. This contains the logic for your bot. For example, summarize, write a script, etc. So then there's an AI block, and this is where the magic happens. You can add API keys like OpenAI's or other LLMs, and you can also set temperature and connect the nodes, like input with input and system message with prompt, etc. And finally, connect an output block to display the result. And boom, you've built your first Langflow project. Okay, so let's quickly check it out. We have an article that we can use to summarize. So let's quickly copy paste this article and check it out. See, the flow is running. So here we got the summary in our own environment with just API keys and a few blocks visually connected. Now imagine what you can build. So next is RAG. As we talked about, building a RAG workflow in Langflow is a whole topic in itself. You would connect a vector database like Pinecone or VV8 to retrieve relevant data for your agents. So we'll save this for another video. So now let's level up and build an actual agent. As a builder's channel, we've made a bunch of videos on how to build things. And we should also talk about SEO and how to get users for it. And doing SEO is a job in itself as it requires you to find keywords according to your offering, write using them and publish and many, many more things. So now let's try doing that using the bot that we built. So here's the plan. So it's gonna take some information about your offering, analyze it and suggest keywords that we can use to write content and actually go on to generate content that we can use. So let's dive in. 
So we'll follow all of the same steps here and instead of basic prompting or rag, we'll use a simple agent to get started. So when you click on it, you will see a readme file, a bunch of tools, a chat input, an AI block, and one output block. Now we can either use this template or just do what we need. So just to save time, let's use a template for this video. We're gonna go back, create a flow, click on use cases and find SEO keyword generator. Okay, so here you can see that we've got a couple of prompt blocks, an AI block and output blocks. But you'll see that there's no input block for putting in a query. So let's quickly do that and connect the nodes to all kinds of inputs it requires. Then we already have our basic prompt put. You can edit it or do whatever you want with it. But for now, as we need keywords, it's good for us. And put your open AI keys or whatever LLM you prefer from the list here. Now to check this part of the entire agent, let's just click on play. And since we already have some saved information about a hypothetical project, we're just gonna put that here. And now let's see if this flow is running. All right, sorted. Now we have a bunch of keywords ready to use. But this is so simple. So why not just give information and get the content generated for us? For that, we need to add one more AI block that will use the content generated by the previous block to generate new content. So we'll remove the output block node from there and add an AI block in between. So now connect the text to input over here. We'll also need another prompt block to give the direction from this AI block to this AI block and what to do with it. We'll connect the prompt to the input message. So here's the prompt that we've written. So let's just copy paste this. Okay, now we can put in our API keys again and connect the output block. Now we run play. So now this is gonna take some time since it's not a single LLM call. Now, since we have a little time, what can we build to show you how easy it is to build an AI agent? Let's do something around the stock market. That's completely different from what we usually talk about, right? And here we got the response. It did the keyword research and also wrote a blog for it. Now to turn this a level up, we could just add a website link and have it research, find keywords, check traffic, write and post. This could honestly be amazing. But for now, let's build another one. For the stock market research, we can use a template too, but not as direct as SEO. Here we have one called sequential task agent. And it has a bunch of agents already here, like researchers, finance, analysis, with some tools as well. So now let's see how we can use them. Also, it has a built-in search engine, which is Tavily, which is nothing but a search engine for LLMs and RAG. Better suited for this. So we will quickly put in the keys for that. Also open AI keys wherever required and connect all the nodes we learned above. Let's ask for an analysis of AAPL or Tesla just to get started. So let's see how this goes. Wow, this is crazy. It gives us a summary, visual context, numbers, and so much more. That's insane to achieve perplexity like results right in front of our eyes. And you saw how easy it is to build agents with Langflow without using any code. We hope you enjoyed what you just saw and also learned how to build workflows and agents yourself. So now it's your turn. What agents would you build? Drop your ideas in the comments and let us know what you want us to build next. And make sure you follow Builder Central for more deep dives into no-code and AI tools.